Hi everyone, today we're gonna to go over the shark muscle dissection. Uh, you can check out the walkthrough video um, on the YouTube channel. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna get underneath the skin. Um, obviously we need to get below that, we need to skin the shark, um, at least this section, um, so that we can see the muscle beneath it. And the skin is very, very thin, although if you kind of feel it, you know, it's a little rough in one direction and smooth in another because they have denticles and they're little teeny tiny tooth-like structures on their um, skin, so it's kind of cool. But that skin is very, very thin, um, so we want to get underneath it. Now, I'm actually very lucky <laughs> in that this particular one had a I don't know exactly how this cut would have occurred. It probably occurred post preservation by the looks of it. Um, so I'll start here and just start to make a pocket and I'll kind of cut and expand that pocket. But I wanna take that up to um, about the corner of the mouth and across and down to the first gill slit. So let's do it. All right, so we removed that skin. There's still a lot of tough fascia down here, so we'll wanna clear some of that away so we can see the underlying muscles, but then we're gonna do our, uh, we're gonna get underneath the intermandibularis and make it cut so we can see the deep muscles to that. All right, so let's work on clearing some of that fascia and then I'll come back.
So now that we've cleared away most of that fascia over the muscles, we can see our intermandibularis and the common coracoarcules. Um, and I've cleared out underneath that intermandibularis into our hyoideus complex. So we'll take it right about here um, so that we're um, to either side of that midline, the median raphe that you can see here. And we'll just cut up. There we go. And once we get that all the way up, we're actually going to go kind of slow um, when we're um, cutting across here and folding it over because we want to make sure that uh, coracomandibularis and coracohyoideus don't uh, uh, come with this intermandibularis and hyoideus complex. So I'm going to clear those off the deep side. Um, they're right under here. So here's our So you can see that it's tightly adhered right there. So they're just beneath my pin uh, is the coracomandibularis. Okay, so I'm gonna clear that off um, and then we'll come back. And we should be just about done. Okay, that looks pretty well cleared off. So let's take that and cut over uh, transversely. Try, to, oop, try not to rip it as we go. Actually, I might have to clear out a little bit more here so that it doesn't take that carpomandibularis with it. There we go. That's looking pretty good. And that is it. Um, so now I'll just have to take this uh, scissors or another probe and just kind of clear out some of this fascia so we can see the muscles a little more clearly. But that is everything as far as the um, branchial and cephalic musculature of the shark. We're gonna do uh, a, a kind of just clear off the skin on about the midpoint of the body. So you can see the um, bundles of muscle fibers the bundles of muscle uh, going down uh, the body. Yeah. All right, so we'll do that in a second. All right, so for the um, lateral view of the shark, uh, we're gonna just basically make a flap of skin all the way up. Uh, you can see, I might, you might see I already started uh, one, but it was going so poorly, in fact, I completely tore through the wall, um, that I decided to do a new one. Uh, and that's okay. So what we're going to try to do is do it a little more um, caudally. Uh, you want to take it up and start right about here, right about where that incision is made. Um, and just try to find a separation between the muscle wall and the skin and just kind of push against the skin and work your way all the way up. And we want to go basically up onto the um, midline. Uh, you don't have to go completely all the way up, but the dorsal longitudinal bundle is pretty far up here, so you do want to take it quite a ways up. All right, I'm going to get to work on that. Enjoy. Oh, <laughs> before I keep going, um, you're going to encounter a lot of really tough fascia when you're doing this, so uh, yeah, it requires a bit of patience and don't get too overzealous like I did over here. Yeah, all right, let's try this again.
All right, so it's not the prettiest, but uh, we have successfully cleared our way of skin all the way along the body wall of the uh, of the shark. Um, and so be aware again that that fascia, especially like down through here, was exceptionally tough. Um, up here it got a little bit easier, but it's also kind of well. We'll want to clean this up a little bit so we can see the muscle fibers. Uh, and you can see that they're going in slightly different directions um, with the apaxial and hypaxial musculature. So, I'll see you in a bit uh, with the walkthrough.